Hi, I'm Bob Culley, President of Delta Automation here in Richmond, Virginia. Today we're going to be putting on an RG11 connector onto a piece of quad shield cable. This is the type of cable that the Monocon Remote I.O. Network utilizes. We're going to be using the tools uh, that we can provide here in a Remote I.O. termination kit that we here at Delta produce. It has uh, the tools and connectors for both RG11 and RG6 cutters, the stripping tools, the crimping tools, set of instructions that kind of tell you exactly what we're going to be doing here today as well. But we're going to go over here uh, how to do the RG11 connectors. We're going to start with a piece of quad shield RG11 cable. The quad shield means it has two foils and two braids, gives you the four shields, gives you a good uh, noise immunity, which uh, this is the only cable that you want to use on a Monocon system. The first thing you want to do is be sure that the cable is cut squarely. Uh, so that it fits into the uh, into the stripping tool properly. To cut it, we want to use a pair of cutters that have a scissor type action. You never want to use electrician's pliers, lineman's pliers, as they tend to crush the cable when you cut it. So be sure you get a good square cut. Cut the cable. Be sure that it's even. If we take this uh, stripping tool, which we here at Delta have specially modified. We've added these two two spacers and a, and a stop onto it. The stop allows you to be sure you fully insert the cable all the way into the stripping tool. And this piece here is a piece that we can mark the cable along so we know how far to put the uh, connector on once it's been stripped. We insert the cable all the way until it hits the stop that we've added. We give it a little squeeze. We spin it. You'll feel it loosen up a bit as the uh, cutter completely cuts it. At this point we want to take a felt tip pin and go on alongside the spacer that we added, put a mark here with the felt tip pin and that will tell us where exactly to insert the connector to once we get to that portion. So we spin this around when it loosens up, we we'll pull that off, we strip the cable back as you can see. One thing you want to be very very careful of is to be sure there are no little small braids or fine hairs shorting out the center conductor. Obviously if it's a short it's going to ruin the uh, connection here. So be sure that's clear. If there are any little hairs or anything on there, take a small pair of dikes and cut those back. We're just going to be sure that everything's uh, cleaned off here. At this point we want to flare the braid just a little bit. There is a sleeve inside the connector, which I'll show you in a minute, that has to slide down underneath this, this braid, so we open that up and flare it a bit. These connectors, you can't see, but inside there is a small four-fingered star that's shaped like this and when you put the center conductor in it actually forces that star closed onto the center conductor It makes a good connection and in addition it pushes the stinger here in the, the uh, F portion of the connector out. So there's a couple indicators that you know you have the cable inserted all the way. One, we push it back till the edge of the connector is even with the line we made when we stripped the cable and two, when the center conductor here pushes the stinger just out past the end of the connector. So we're going to stick this in here. Got a twisting as we push. It's all the way back to where the uh, black line is. So we know it's in completely. We take the compression tool, and this is a dual purpose compression tool. It does both RG6 and RG11. Put this in. We crimp it. The center conductor or the stinger has now come out past the end of the connector so that we know it's fully extended. It is right here at our mark. We know that connector is on there. This is a good connection. You must use this type of connector because on the RG11 the center conductor is a 14 gauge wire. The Stinger here and all other conductors on a Monocon RG, uh, RG6 and RG11 system are uh, 20 gauge or 18 gauge, I'm sorry, 18 gauge connections and a 14 gauge wire will force open those connections and make them inoperable. So you must use a connector that has a smaller stinger. That's why we cannot use the 14 gauge cable as the center conductor like we do on an RG6 cable. So that, uh, that concludes how we put on an RG11 connector. And uh, if you have any questions, please call us here at Delta Automation, 1-888-PC-Delta. Thank you.